Hey guys, how's it going? Kripan here. So today I had an incredible amount of fun playing Mill Rogue. Uh, so why did I play Mill Rogue? Well, uh, I wanted to test all the cards that I could, at least the ones that came out of this Black Rock Wing, Black Rock Deaths. And uh, one of the interesting cards was Gang Up. I thought this card was basically complete shit, uh, especially in the existing rogue deck, because the existing rogue deck had no real need for a card like this. And this type of card, as I mentioned before, is one that the turn you play it literally does nothing unless you also draw the cards and the cards that you draw that you copied from a creature in play are significant that turn as well, which is basically never going to happen unless you're playing mill rogue. So I played Mill Rogue. I did copy a deck. I copied it off Hearthpoon. I'll include the link uh, so the authors credited all that kind of stuff. I didn't really make this deck too much. Uh, a lot of the games that you guys will see me play today, I actually played the exact version of the deck as it is on Hearthpwn. Uh, but eventually I ended up putting a, a Sabotage instead of Dancing Swords because I felt Dancing Swords was literally doing nothing against Control. I just wouldn't want to play it. And uh, if I was milling them, I was milling them with other cards. So that is just completely useless. Um, didn't like it. Uh, I put in Sabotage because um, I was able to just control the board with removal and uh, sap effects, uh, return cards, but I wasn't able to prevent the damage that I was taking from weapons, so I had a few losses to uh, Hunters, I had a loss to like Paladin that I just, I just wasn't too happy about. And, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult for this deck to deal with a big creature, so I think it was a pretty good fit. Uh, again, this is like the first day that I'm playing this deck. This is like the second day that anyone's playing this themed gang up mill deck. Um, so there's probably quite a bit of improvement, but the optimism is really high. And I want to talk about that today. So, why is this deck so good? And it is. Um, I do have a lot of experience playing mill decks. Uh, I mean, I played mill rogue. I may have been one of the first in Hearthstone to actually play mill rogue. A uh, very similar deck to this, actually, way, way, way back, like in 2013. Um, things have come a long way. Uh, more recently, I've played the Natural Remedies Mill Druid, Fatigue Druid, uh, that was possible with GVG, and it was awesome. But the problem with that deck was that people learned to play around it, and it is a deck that if someone is experienced playing against it, it's significantly worse, because they know that the Druid can't afford to have that much single target removal. And as such, you just play one medium-sized threat, and you don't ever play a second one until the Druid deals with the first. And with this strategy, you're going to beat a Druid almost every time unless they have an extremely good draw, which it's not that likely. With the Rogue deck, it's a little bit different. The reason Gang Up is so incredible in this deck is the synergy with Cold Light Oracle and the sub-synergy with Antique Healbot is ridiculous. So in the first case with Cold Light Oracle, Cold Light Oracle is, is just a card you have in every mill deck, and with Gang Up, it makes it so you accelerate into card draw like crazy. So if you really look at the deck, you have two Gang Ups, which pretty much puts uh, six more Cold Light Oracles in your deck, and you have two Shadow Steps, which puts another two Cold Light, or Cold Light Oracles in your deck. So basically you have 10 possible Cold Light Oracles. And what happens is you literally are playing with a 10 card hand every single turn and your opponent is getting milled like two to six cards, in some cases more than that, every single turn. And because the mill is so aggressive, it makes cards like Mukla and his bananas extremely powerful because those two bananas are gonna substitute for two cards your opponent would have otherwise drawn and it makes, it makes the whole theme stronger. Um, it's kind of like a snowball effect, this mill thing. If it gets a little bit stronger, it's a lot more effective. And that's why it's so. And the gang up on the cold light makes it so the mill is so aggressive that this deck doesn't suffer from the weaknesses the druid had, where if, you're an, if your opponent played a slow mid rangey type of game. A slow mid rangey type of game is actually too slow for the opponent to do anything. They will lose if they play that way because you will mill them so quickly. Like, I think on average you mill your opponents down by turn 10, which is like unheard of. Um, and that's fairly consistent. So that's why it's so ridiculously strong against all the mid-range decks and all the control decks. Um, against the aggressive decks, it's 
Mill has never really done too well. In fact, the Fatigue Druid um, a few months ago actually was probably the best Mill type of deck against aggressive decks just because it had so much healing. Uh, this Rogue is about on par with the Druid in that regard. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, I did beat, I think, uh, three out of four hunters or four out of five hunters that I played today. I lost to one, uh, I just got destroyed. But in the others, well, the gang up combination with Antique Healbot suddenly becomes pretty good. It makes it so you can have a possible 10 Antique Healbots in your deck. And you just don't play cards that draw them more cards. You slow down the game as much as possible because hunters run out of steam. They're an aggressive deck, but if you gain too much life, they will not win. And well, 10 antique kill bots is actually a lot of life as it turns out. So yeah, you absolutely can win that way. The main reason why Death, why Death Lord is in the deck is to prevent these guys early on from dealing too much damage. And later on, you start developing some card draw, you start developing some heals, and then it just it just spirals out of control where they have no cards, you have Death Lords, you have a million heal bots in your hand, and you're just good to go. And uh, that happens quite frequently. Uh, Death Lords are not that great in a lot of other matchups, but they're not too big of a hindrance either. So I think the deck is quite well balanced as it is. And uh, man, is it a lot of fun to play. It may take you guys some practice to really get it going, but I have heard uh, a lot of people are playing the deck right now on ladder because they saw a lot of streamers, including myself, play the deck to quite a lot of success. So you can't expect to face against this deck. I don't really know what the weakness is outside of Mech Mage, but right now we're seeing a lot of Warlock, uh, a lot of Hunter, and some Mech Mage. And even though the Mech Mage does, it's probably the worst matchup for this deck just because it's an aggressive deck that doesn't really run out of steam. So you can't mill them because you lose you can't stall because they don't run out of cards. So it has that issue. It's a very unique type of fit against this deck. But Mech Mage doesn't do particularly well against the rest of the meta, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But if this deck does get out of control, we know at least that's the answer to it right now. So I hope the deck doesn't get too out of control so people don't go back to playing Mech Mage all the time. Yeah. But still, this deck is awesome. Uh, I'm really amazed by Gang Up, and uh, well, enough of me talking. You guys, you guys are like the words that are coming out of my mouth that have to describe how this deck works. Don't do it justice. Check out the games, and you'll see just how awesome this card ended up being. Enjoy it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I have a feeling we don't want to Gang Up like right away. I guess we should keep Death Lord. we don't want to take early damage. How good is wasting time making shitty decks? Dude, that's how you learn, man. That's how you learn how good the cards are. I need Cold Light in the opening hand for this to work. Oh. Well then, we've thrown this game then, haven't we? I was playing this deck, it was awful. Alright. Oh shit. Yeah, Belcher. White dancing swords instead of spider tank. Mill boy is mill. It's a mill. It's a mill rogue. I don't want to reveal that it's a mill rogue yet either. can't just, like, the way you play mill is you don't feed them cards all day. The way you play mill is you play conservative and then you mill them all at once. That goes for, like, every single mill deck. Well, 
Oh, we don't have much of a choice right now. He might taunt in front of it, which would be kind of bad. I don't want to vanish a Lothab that's going to, like, fuck me up really hard. I was gonna prep Vanish if I didn't draw like an Eviscerate or something. But we drew something. That's quite fine. Death does not scare me. I probably need to gang up like an Oracle. Uh, today we're gonna play mostly constructed guys. Play arena like every other day. Oh, zombie chat, nice. That's value. Gang up the heal bot, you think? No. I wanna gang up cold light. Sucks. Here we go. Is that? How am I supposed to do anything? Here we go. There. Heal that damage up. I'm kind of seeing what you guys are talking about. That whole uh, you need Cold Light Oracle deal. Yeah. This is why I mulligan for Cold Light. Yeah. I don't want to gang up three Solanas because. The oh! Perfect! Because then I um, I reduce the odds. I think the boombots actually fucking trigger when I kill them, by the way. I think they do. I can put I can put three boombots in my deck. I could just draw boombots. We're not gonna do that though. Um, I can spend a prep to gain six life. Yeah, we're not gonna do that though. Wait, okay, this is gonna do damage to me. That's so unfair. Here we go. My hand is too full. It basically did nothing. That's kind of true, actually. I thought it'd kill uh, Doctor Boom, but nah. Doesn't Doctor Who comes to play before the Boombots? <laughs> I don't know what to do. What the fuck is this? I guess I probably should try to kill Dr. Boom. Oh god. No cold light lose game. Yeah, it seems that way. I have no time for games.
can take seven and not eviscerate. Mm -hmm. I have no more weapons, so... Seems reasonable. Nah. Here we go. Well, all right, well, maybe we'll draw a Murloc sometime today. Holy fuck. So I have one Sap, one Vanish, Mukwa, and two Murlocs. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's so bogus, dude. Where are the cards that actually do stuff? I'm like fucking dead. Yes! Thank Christ, dude. He's already at 10 cards, so... There's an Ezra Drake in here? Oh, okay. So we can do... Gang Up. Put three more code lights in that three card deck. And then prep, vanish. My hand is too full. Alright. Tadingo! Yes! I've got the beast in my sights. Oh shit, I should have done Mukla. These cars are like all code lights, aren't they? Gang up Death Lord, I don't know. Death does not scare me. Okay, I guess. Sap that I'm trying to draw. I'm almost out of cards. Wait, we just win. Six seven. We just win. Crash to get out of here! <laughs> get ganged! <laughs> oh man! Okay. 
Okay. I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm winning. I'll just, I just play this out. It's fine. It sucks. I just play it out. And then we actually won in the end. What the fuck? Alright, alright. So we need cold light. We need, oh, we probably want death lord because it's a hunter. We probably want backstab because it's a hunter. Can we even mill a hunter? I guess we can, like, gang up on heal bots. Well, we probably lost this, but we'll, we'll play it out anyway. Okay, we have the heal bot gang up combo. I think I'll save the weapon. Azure Drake, because I don't really feel like taking damage right now. Okay, so we have four heal bots in the deck. I want to gang up and get some more if we need. Good. Zombie Chowster. Is someone injured? Damn. We are trying hard today, guys. Trying hard. Here we go. It's like here. Have a card. Welcome, bro. Greetings. Greetings. You know what, bro? Here we go. Why don't you have another one? On me. 
Bro, that was not part of the deal. Scared of Death Lord because of a uh, cabal. Here we go. Eight card dwarf. Ouch. Let me change your mind. I want to vanish after Death Lords. Two gang ups. Pretty rough again. We have his other cabal. Let me change your mind. Oh shit. Death does not scare me. <sighs> Alright. It's really good that he played those first. Thank God. anything so actually I could maybe mill the rest no the 
if I use the cold light, it's, it's potentially really bad. I could, however, Mukla, perhaps. I might be better to Mukla next turn as well. Let's just vanish. Oh. Well, that's kind of bad. Mind control. Prep the gang up. I don't like that. I believe I have a sap left. Or did I double sap already? No longer in fatigue. Oh shit. That sucks. Actually, I can mill him. Kill him with a triple oracle turn. How is it a bad play? It's game winning. You have no chance of winning. some fatigue as well. I don't think I die. We're gonna YOLO a little bit here. Did my fatigue damage reset? Three, four. I'm gonna take five, six. That's fine. Get him into BM range. I lost? Minus 14? What? 
Actually, if it went to his turn, he would have lost another 9. So I basically got him to minus 23. Alright, Warrior, Warrior. We can beat Warrior. We have, like, the stall. Dancing Swords doesn't really work with the stall, and it dies to a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking we actually drop the Dancing Swords for now. Actually, no, it's a mistake, because this warrior is going to be Control Warrior, like, every single time. And against Control Warrior, all I really need is Cold Light. Fortunately, I just drew it. This deck is pretty spicy, but not as spicy as Taco Bell. Wow. I don't want to reveal what I'm playing yet. Here we go. I could mill him one card. If we're gonna have to play Lure Walker, I guess I guess that's gonna be it. Thinking of giving him a prep sap. Let's do shadow step. Prep. Should I prep? No, it feels like a waste. Here we go. Maybe I should do a prep sap. Okay, fine, I'll do a prep sap. Now he has a lot of worthless spells he needs to start playing very quickly. That I will then acquire. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, just scary stuff here. Um, okay. He's gonna shadow step his hobgoblin. Well, that is just about the scariest thing I've seen. I look really dumb. Okay. Battle detected. They're giving me a prep. Oh my god, he's killing my cold light. My hand Rude. It's gonna kill the hobgoblin and that guy. My hand is full. Okay. I don't really like Tabasco that much, but it's just so good for pizza. I like Sirach on basically everything else. Alright guys, I'm gonna meet for a little bit so I can stuff my face. I'll play some constructed usually when I eat. I play a lot worse. So please expect that. 
I hope you guys don't mind. Jade serpent to guide you. My hand is too full. Too soon. I'm almost out of cars. Here we go. I'm out of cars. Charge forward. The blade be thirsty. Not scare me. Oh. 
Well played. 